Humble yourself before the Lord, and he will lift you up. He will exalt you. That's from James chapter 4, verse 10. What was going on? Why would James even have to write this? You have to ask. The backstory, you can read the backstory from James chapter 4, verses 1 through 10. You can read the whole story. Bottom line here is this. People were being selfish, and as a result of being selfish, they were being mean to others. For example, there's one line right here. He says, you do not desire and do not, you desire and do not have, so you murder. Hey, somebody else has got what I want. Instead of doing what I need in order to earn it, I'm going to go take it. And if I have to take somebody's life, I will. Is, that, is it that extreme? No. Happens all the time. I want, I'm going to take. James says, says to the church, if you're so focused on you, meaning my own self, my own desires, and not focused on God, you don't have a relationship with God. He writes, therefore, whoever wishes to be a friend of the world makes himself an enemy of God. So this is the deal. James is saying, you know what? Your life has been focused all upon you. Humble yourself before God, and he will lift you up. Humble. What does it mean to be humble? Well, it means to be non-selfish in one side of the coin. Humble means not to think of myself in any exalted way. Humble means I do not look at myself as I'm not good or I'm really good. Humbling yourself means being honest with yourself. Even the foibles, the faults, and yes, even the sins. Being humble means letting go of the ego. Being humble means I don't deal with the ego. The ego is getting me in trouble. The ego is causing me to sin. And when we humble ourselves before the Almighty God, we receive something that we could never get when we're focusing on me. And what is that? grace. The free gift of life that comes from God and that comes from God alone. The free gift of forgiveness that comes through Jesus Christ, his life, who was the perfect obedience to your, for, for you, his death, the means by which God took away all of your sins, his resurrection, the means by which of giving you a new life to live with today, tomorrow, as well as forever. And Jesus' ascension to where he told us, I'm going to a place in order to prepare it for you, for your home, for your eternity. And when we look at ourselves with a, little, with a lot of clarity, a lot of humility, and we receive something wonderful, God's life and God's forgiveness. So that's why James tells you and I to humble yourself before the Lord and he will lift you up. And he does. Let's pray. Dear Father in heaven, we give you thanks and praise for all the blessings you've given to us. Lead us by the power of your Holy Spirit to not think of ourselves more highly than we ought but to humble ourselves before you, to look at ourselves as sinners, selfish, self-centered, to look at ourselves in need of a savior, to save us from ourselves, to save us from our sins, to save us from our sinfulness, and we look to you in humility and joy. Father, we ask you to be with us and give us your spirit so that we may live lives of humility, lives of grace, lives of forgiveness, lives of a new life, so that we may live our lives for you while we are still on this earth. 
And thank you for Jesus, who came and forgave us of our sins, gave us a new life, and who was set, set before you with a new house for us to live with you forever. These things we pray in Jesus' name. And all God's children say,